Secretary, he said, I'll inform my Buckingham Palace that Her Majesty the Queen is minded to appoint you as a Knight Bachelor. And I'm calling to ask if you'd accept. I said, what? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? So I thought, this is not about, is it? I am being rehearsed by Ridley Scott <laughs> in How to Get Knighted by the Queen. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a long process. You get nominated, you know, for you know, kind of doing groovy work. And yeah. uh, then they check you out and it goes to all kinds of mills. And you can't nominate yourself. People have to do it. <clears throat> and then um, and if they think so, there's an organization called the Central Chancery for Knighthoods. Okay. And they look at all these honors. And then if they, if the story checks out, you know, if you meet the criteria, it's, it, it's for, and to be fair, standing contributions to the life of the nation. You know, so the story checks out, they make a recommendation to the prime minister. And if, if the prime minister agrees, uh, she makes a recommendation to the queen. And if the queen agrees, they call you up. No, it's great. I was thrilled about it. You know. still see the wall, the sword. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You go to the palace, yeah, you kneel. I didn't actually kneel. Uh, when, I, when I got there, because there's, there's quite a big ceremony. So, you know, yeah, there were four of us being knighted that day and there were other people getting other awards and things. It's like a big commencement thing, really, you know. But, but as we're in the antechamber, the um, equerry to the Queen said, you know, he talked us through, said you come in, then you... You will kneel before Her Majesty. And I said, do I have to kneel? Because I thought I'll be able to get down. Whether I get up again right. without grabbing hold of her dress is hard to say, really. Uh, <laughs> the idea of resting the monarch to the ground, you know, <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like clinging on to her robes didn't really seem the right thing. So, But I loved it. He said, no, you don't have to kneel. Um, he said, you could just bow. And he said, you will appreciate, I'm sure, that we have knighted many more infirm people than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> no, but it's a fantastic event. Yeah, it's just what you think. It was funny, you know, because when I found out, you can't tell anybody. Once they ask you, they ask you if, if we had a phone call here, out of the blue from the Consul General, who I knew anyhow. and. Uh, and he said, I've got some exciting news. And I thought it was about him. You know, I thought he was being posted to Barcelona or something. You know. <laughs> I said, what is it? And he, he changed his voice and he said, um, I had been informed by Buckingham Palace. And I'm on the phone thinking, what are you talking about, Peter? He said, I've been informed by Buckingham Palace that Her Majesty the Queen is minded to appoint you as a Knight Bachelor. And I'm calling to ask if you'd accept. I said, what? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? He said, uh, I'm, I'm saying the Queen wants to give you a knighthood. Would you take it if she does? You know, she is minded to award you. I don't think. So, um, and it's important because <clears throat> the, it's true with all these honours, they ask you beforehand confidentially because what they don't want is for the Queen to announce she's giving you a knighthood and you say, no, I'm fine, actually, I'm good. Yeah. And, and some people do turn them down. You know, for their own reasons. So that was the deal that, that I would. So I said, well, yeah, you know, we're, we're fine with it. But then we couldn't tell anybody. Right, for how long? Oh, until it was officially announced, wow. which is about six weeks out from the call. So you went through all kinds of things. But when I did, <clears throat> when they did announce it, as it happens, I was writing the element book and we're, I was having lunch at the Getty with Ridley Scott, because we interviewed him for the book. And he'd been knighted the year before. So I said, well, talk me through it. You know, as I was going back, to, I had a big office at the Getty. I mean, it was a huge office, but we were walking back over to it. And it was one of those LA moments, you know, we, we yeah. paused in the foyer. And he said, I'll show you how this works. <clears throat> and he, he pulled a stool over. And um, so I thought, this is an LA moment, isn't it? I am being rehearsed by Ridley Scott <laughs> in How to Get Knighted by the Queen. So, and he talked me through it. And he said, this is what happens, you do this. And I said, well, I probably won't kneel, but I said, what was it like? He said, it's fantastic, actually. He said, he said the thing is, he said, you know, I'd, I was standing in front of her and she was about to, you know, to give me the sword in the shoulder. You know, and you've got all these people on the platform there. He said, but, but I couldn't help but feel if, if we'd moved that way and we'd, we'd had the light coming from that side. I said, what, you're blocking it, aren't you? 
you, you're getting that and you're blocking the scene, thinking yeah. <laughs> this could have more impact yeah, exactly. from this angle. Yeah. I don't think we get to make those choices. I said, no, no, yeah, just go with it, Ridley. Go with it. <laughs> no, but it's, it is a fantastic event, yeah, as you'd imagine. Wow. Yeah. You're like, you know what? I like what you're doing, but we need to get Anthony Hopkins over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, it's uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, show how to do this. <laughs>